hello guys welcome back to my build uh yeah we are doing a ranch country style build i think i don't know where i was going with this but that was my idea when i first started it whether or not it actually gives you that vibe i don't know but it kind of did to me sort of kind of i finally figured out how to fix my microphone so that it works well with my editing software so that i have no fan in the background my last build it was horrendous i apologize fixed it I think I hope it sounds good to you guys yeah uh, so that's what we're doing I'm adding a few beams uh, ranch style you know a ranch style French porch you know how it is I was gonna go with the wraparound deck but I was like uh, nah I like it the way that it is so we're gonna work with that spandrels of course because why not right let's just go for it they don't really have any, like, country-style doors, so that was the best I could do. But I was really hoping for something more country-style, ranch-ish, but I don't know. Like, I wish The Sims had, like, a farmhouse or, like, a farm type of, like, pack or something. Like, in The Sims 3, they had, like, horses and stuff, and horses, which was super cool. Kind of wish they had horses in Sims 4, but whatever, we got cats and dogs. Close enough, we still have pets. So this home really would be well welcoming to a dog owner, of course. Now, I've never used these green counters that I'm using now. And I thought, what a perfect way to use them. Green, to me, seems farmy. You know, like grass. I don't know where I was going with this, but that was my idea. Like, oh, green seems farm farmhousey. So I went with that, even though it's like for a vampire pack. But whatever, it's fine, right? Here we go. I'm building a nice little island over here, kind of. I don't know. It, yeah, it works. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I put this thing in the middle of the island. I've never done that before in a build, but I thought it looked really cool, and I was like, yeah, that's ranch style, right? Let's go with that. So that's where I, what I did. And I thought it looked really awesome. And again, the bar stools. Really hard to find cool bar stools to work with this. So I had to use cats and dogs because that's ranch style, country-ish. So there you go. Yeah! Alright, now the li lighting. Oh, lighting was so hard though. Like, I don't know. I just couldn't really think of anything good. So I used the um, mason jars. I love mason jars. Mason jars are so country, so farmhousey. So, of course, I had to go with that. You knew that was coming, right? Love this table. Super cute, super farby. Chairs, though, also another, another trial and tribulation to get through. I was like, what is farmhousey? And that's what I landed with, so there we go. Chandelier, though, really I'm not sure if I like it, but that's what we stuck with, so yay to that. And flooring for the kitchen was another challenge, but I eventually got something I liked, and it worked well. Because when you use the green for your countertops, it's like, what do you go with? What do you choose for a floor, right? So there's that. We used wood flooring for the kitchen, of course. Why not, right? Oh, the wallpaper, though. Like, what do you do for, like, a green... <laughs> Again, the green counters really don't work well when you're looking for wallpaper. Oh, this took forever to figure out. I didn't want to go with green wallpaper, obviously, because who has a green kitchen, right? Like, ugh. And it's like, all right, that seems kind of cool, but, like, nah, really. Changing the floor yet again to see if I can make it work well. This was the worst part with the kitchen, trying to figure out what goes with the green counters. Guys. This is not a good idea. Never use the green counters. I've learned from my mistakes. They're hard to find matching wallpaper and, or paint, rather, and flooring. Hard to go by. I eventually found something that I liked, sort of, and I just went with it, even though it looked kind of weird, but I left with that. So there we go. There's that. Ugh. Windows were kind of tricky, but I finally used these windows here. They seemed a bit farmy and country-ish, so I was like, I'll go with that, even though it kind of was weird. Yeah. Oh, man, the window. I mean, like, what kind of windows do you use in the kitchen like this? I mean, maybe you guys know how to make a farmhouse build. I'm sure there are plenty of farmhouse builds in the gallery that have used other options for windows. But I was like, you know what? No. I'm going to make this my own because I don't want to copy someone's idea. So I want to use my own windows, and boom, there we go. I loved the white. That was my living space and dining area for I loved that wallpaper it would just work so well I loved it it was like yeah it's so so homey and stuff so did that these doors 
are so awesome. Love these doors. Now, I did add an upper deck, as you'll notice. We have an upper upstairs. Yeah, that's coming. I couldn't add any banisters because they kept going through the walls, and I was like, oh, no. And, you know, I wanted to hide the little staircase a bit, so that also didn't work out. So, uh, yeah, and I wanted to add the water sprinkler set again. The water sprinkler set is so challenging to put in any, any build, for that matter. So I'm like, you know what, we're going to leave it out. Forget it. We don't need it. And the stairs look so dim, so I added a light there just because I was like, you can't go upstairs in the pitch black. Can't do that. So we got to have that. Now i got to add some clutter to the kitchen because you can't have a bare kitchen. It just doesn't work that way. So we're going to go with that. Oh, yay. Look at the dining area. It looks so cute already, and I haven't even finished it. Like, I was just even, like, not even sure what I wanted to do. Yeah. I probably could have used move objects on and, like, added a bunch of other stuff somewhere in the kitchen but I was like you know what no I like it the way that it is so that's where we're going gotta have an overhead under your under your uh, lovely little oven you can't have no over overhead that's just how it is <laughs> yeah so oh gotta add the bin cannot forget your trash can guys you need a trash can in your house it's a standard just saying oh yeah I forgot we did change <laughs> I did end up changing the um that to a mason jar, I, I, I eventually was like, no, we cannot have that. Forget it. I wanted to add, yeah, I added this little, like, bookcase nook type thing because it just, it felt like that area was just so blah with the last thing I had there. So I was like, oh, I'm going to add some more stuff to it, add some clutter, make it look pretty. I, gotta really, I wanted to really fill this place up, make it look like a real, real authentically built, not like, oh, it looks kind of weird. No, I want to make this a really good build, so I really went for it. Yeah, there we go. Awesome sauce. Love it. Coat rack. Gotta have the umbrella rack, guys. I love the umbrella rack. That's like my new thing. Every Sim needs an umbrella. Yeah, the oil lamps, guys, are super awesome. I don't use them too often, but when I do, they are awesomely used. So there we go. That was an awesome thought. And yes, we are adding a chimney now. This took forever to figure out because like, I didn't know right, because the placement, I was like, am I placing it in the right spot? I want to make sure they all matched up and like it took forever to match them up. I got it eventually, but it really took forever. And you know, like you can't have like a country house without a fireplace. It just wasn't going to work for me. I was like, no, 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 we're going to go full country. We're adding a fireplace. I don't care what happens. We will put the TV somewhere else. We'll find a place for it. Don't worry. So there we go. That's like a little living area with all the TV, just a fireplace and a little lamps. You know, you gotta go with that. And finding a rug was challenging sort of cause it was like a weird space, but I eventually did find something I liked and I used it because I don't know, I just, I love rugs. Rugs are a great little additive to the Sims. Like they make a space look well, well decorated in my opinion. Oh, yes. We got to add decorations to our fireplace. It just, it looks so bland. I was like, what are we going to add to this? So I got to add a dogs, pictures, and whatnot. You know, really make it look authentic to a real country home. I keep saying that, guys, and I'm sorry, but I just really wanted to. And that, like, end table didn't work over there. We never used an end table. Just wasn't going to work in this build. I really want to. And again, I'm back here trying to figure out how to get the chimney to match up, and I don't know why it took so long. It shouldn't have taken that long. I should have had it already set to go, but no. Of course, it took forever. <laughs> Again, trying to figure out the end table thing. That was a mess. I was like, nope, nope, no end table allowed. So now I'm trying to build the upstairs to suit the needs of what I was going to go for. I believe we have three bedrooms. It's a three-bedroom build. Yeah. And over there is just like, this is going to be the study slash like the TV room. I put a TV room upstairs because I felt like that was the best place for it. And I'm going, and of course I'm adding some lights just so I can kind of build through it. Uh, I'm not obviously going to keep those lights in there because that would just be weird. But yeah, we're working with um, the master bedroom right now. Or did I actually keep that light? I can't remember offhand. I built this like a couple days ago, so I'm now just editing this. So <laughs> bear with me in what I did. Oh yeah. Wood flooring. 
I feel like the master bedroom wasn't as big as I thought it was going to come out to be. I, I was going to make it a little bit bigger, but I was like, you know what? No, it's fine. You really don't need a lot of a bedroom, to be honest. Like, just a couple lanterns on the t and nightstands, and that's really it. Like, you just need, like, that and, like, maybe, like, a desk. Not a desk, but, like, a just a dresser, and that's it. I mean, the Sims don't spend much time in the room anyway, so it's kind of like, I don't know what really to do with this build. Like, I don't know what to do with the room, so I just did that. It was pretty much simple. Simple build in the room. That's it. That's your master bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I love mirrors. Mirrors are a great tool. So if you ever build a bedroom, always add a mirror. I'm telling you that. It makes it work. It makes it work. I did add curtains only to this room because I felt like the curtains just weren't going to work in the rest of the rooms. Because there weren't really many good colors for these curtains. And these windows I chose were just not really... They weren't going to work with really many curtains. So that was the only curtains I had available. And that was the only room that it looked like it was going to work in. Now, I'm using wired... Are they wired? They're steel wire, I think, beds. And I feel like those are country themed, in my opinion. But maybe you guys will think differently. I don't know. Comment below if you really thought I used, I could have used a better bed choice. I don't know. But yeah, um, this could be for a boy's room. It could be for a girl's room. You may want to alter it if you are going to put a girl in there. But I was thinking a guy would live in there, maybe a teen. Um, I didn't want to really build it to be like a kid's room because what if you don't have a, because what if your kid grows up and it's a teen? So I wanted to keep it like semi like general, like, oh, it could be for a teen, could be for a kid, but not for a toddler, obviously. So we did that. Here we go. Blue. I like the blue. The blue is a good choice color. I think that really worked well. So here we go with my beds. I made another girl's room and um, yeah so this is a bigger room than the boys room obviously. I don't know why but I, I for some reason the build that's just how it how it ended up being size wise. So it's pretty neat. I um so I caught obviously use the same desk but I just chose white because you know guys might like brown girls like I like white that sounds really bad oh my god I'm sorry for saying that but the, you know what I mean color wise desk wise not like ugh. and this is where I was trying to find curtains to fit this other room but again guys it wasn't gonna work there weren't like any curtains that went with the theme I was going for so I was like you know what curtains in this room forget it don't worry about it and that's really it I couldn't really fit too much in this girl's room because you know it was kind of tiny but kind of big at the same time if you know what I'm saying if I'd move, used move objects on in this build, I probably could have fit it a lot more in here, but I was like, no, I don't like using cheats in my builds that often, so I kind of didn't want to use it in this build, but I might have actually, I probably should have actually, <laughs> seeing how this painting took forever to find a placement, as you'll notice. I think it was the only painting I used in this, really. I'm just basically adding clutter at this point. Oh, yeah. I put a clutter of mess in her corner because what teen girl doesn't have a mess in their in their in their room at some point, right? So there's that. Yeah. So that's really now we're working on another room. This is the study room. So it's like okay, well, I'll add a TV in here. And this room is kind of tiny as well, so I really didn't know what to do. I could only have one couch, really. It was like, well, okay, I want to add more to this, but what do I do? I wanted to add an Ottman, but it, the placement was so awkward. Like, you see how it's so awkward looking? And I was like, nope, can't add that. Couldn't add a chair there, really. I mean, maybe I could have, but I don't know. So I put, oh, obviously, you know, on all my builds, I have, a, I have a computer because in every Sims game, you always need a computer for something. Your phone doesn't always work for everything, so of course I added a computer there. And I wanted to add a coffee table because I just felt like it needed one. Did I keep it there? I think I got rid of it. Did I not? No, I think I kept it. I might have kept it. Yeah. Sorry for my phone going off <laughs> in the middle of this build. Oh my god. Now the bathroom. Oh, of course the bathroom. My favorite part. This is the only bathroom I think we had. Yeah, we didn't have one downstairs. Yeah. 
There we go, simpleness there. Yay. It, yeah, it was a nice bathroom. Like, it's not too big, not too small, but it works. It works for a family, I think. I mean, I guess for a family of four, maybe you should probably have two bathrooms, but I didn't have much space, as, I, as you know, so I went with that. The art easel. I wanted to place it over there in the corner, but it would not let me place it there. I have no clue why. So I had to go and fill that space in with, like, paintings because it was just like, all right, whatever. I was like, whatever, this is just going... So there we go, a few more paintings, and I mean, I think the build's almost done. Like, that was really my idea behind this. Like, I think I worked on the outside bit a little bit, but not much. And I didn't add a basement to this build, obviously. So I was like, oh, hey, all right. So that's the upstairs, basically. I had a little table there, you know, just because, why not, right? Oh, we did have another bathroom. I forgot. Oh my God, you guys. I forgot that I did add another bathroom in the bottom. I'm a dingling. I did. Okay, this one only had a tub in it. That's right. See, when you make a build and you don't edit after you build it, you forget. I'm so sorry, guys. You guys should know me by now. I'm just like, oh yeah. Makes the build two days and then ago and then it's two days after. Yeah. All right, little window there. Perfectness, a little window over there by the sink. Finally got all the windows placed where I want them and it looks pretty awesome. I'm super stoked for this build. I thought it was really awesome. I loved it. The outside, I was eventually going to add a pool and then I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know if a farmhouse has a pool. We shouldn't do that. So um, you'll notice in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and try and figure that out. But right now, I'm obviously, you can see I'm adding the chimney. <laughs> yep. There we go. Oh, it looks so good. I love it. Yes. I don't always add chimneys in my builds, but this is the first. I think this is only the third or fourth time I've done one with a build, and it's awesome. So I got to do the roof first, obviously, and then we're going to do the other part. I completely forgot. I was trying to add eaves to my house, and I completely forgot that I had the house tilted to the side. I was like, why is it not working? And then I looked, I'm like, oh, because we're on the wrong side of the house. That's why. <laughs> so here we go, and I'm fixing my mistake, and it looks really cool. I love it. It looks amazing. I love adding little, like, windows to your eaves. However, it took me a minute to figure out how to get them to fit in there because it wasn't big enough and tall enough. So this took a tiny bit of time to figure out. Eventually, we got there. But, yeah, I mean... I, I kind of love making build videos, guys. I really do. So you'll see a lot of build videos on this channel. I haven't done a challenge video in a while, so if you guys have any ideas for challenge videos, like you want me to make a challenge video using only a base game or only using a certain packs or something, comment below. I would love to have a challenge. I mean, there's plenty of challenges out there and whatnot, but I don't want to copy someone's challenge. I want to make me, I want to have somebody give me a challenge. So give me a challenge, guys, in the comments below. I will do that for you. And as you see here, I am trying to fit the pool in there. And then I realize that's a dumb mistake. Don't do it. Don't even try it. Just go ahead and try and find a back, an already pre-made backyard and put it in there. The pre-made backyards, guys, really were going to work for me. I, I tested them out, and I'm like looking at them like, no. That's too seasony, it's too weird. It's like, oh, what the hell? That was actually a really good one, but it just, I couldn't get it to fit in my lot properly the way I wanted it. So I was like, oh, forget it, I'll make my own. And it worked out better that way, actually. So we did that. So here I am placing some trees. I added an oak tree, love an oak tree. That's a good tree to have in your yard. I'm not gonna lie. So there we go, adding a picnic table, with a lovely little umbrella in there. Got to add the washboard. I decided to add a washboard and a dry line, so I'm going back up here to add the laundry baskets. I was like, oh, we can do laundry now outside. That's very country. <laughs> Let's do that. So yay, yay, yay for that. Some little chairs. I did add a chaise lounge. Why not, right? You might want to sunbathe outside. You never know. Adding my fencing, and that's basically the build. I mean, I didn't do anything else, I don't think. I had some, maybe some trees, I think. Did I add trees? No, I didn't really. That's it, guys. So 
So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this build. It is available in the gallery for download if you know where I am. VSP Lover 08 is my name. Check me out in the gallery. I have lots of, lots of stuff up there for you to download. So check it out. And I will see you guys next time with a really awesome and fun build or video or live. You never know. <laughs> okay, guys. See you later. Bye.